Exocrine glands and endocrine glands. The basic difference. Various glands present in human body play an important role in the metabolism and proper growth and development of the body. These glands generally fall in two categories, the endocrine and exocrine glands. Let us see how these two types of glands differ. Observe these images of the liver and salivary gland. These glands possess ducts which help to transport their secretions to the place of their action. Such glands with ducts are called exocrine glands. Pancreas acts as an exocrine gland as well as an endocrine gland. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice which is emptied into the duodenum by the pancreatic duct. But there are certain groups of cells embedded within the pancreas with different functions. They produce the hormone insulin. These cells are known as islets of Langerhans. Their secretions are not carried away by ducts, but get absorbed into the capillaries that surround these cells. These types of glands are called endocrine glands. The thyroid gland or adrenal glands also behave in the same way. They do not possess any ducts. Their secretions, the hormones, are transported by blood. Another major difference between these two types of glands is the nature of their secretions. Endocrine glands secrete hormones, whereas exocrine glands secrete digestive juices and other excretory products like sweat.